Okay, guys. Uh, so to dance better, I will show you a little bit uh, exercises how to work on your body and how to improve your dancing. Okay, to dance better, you have to a little bit develop flexibility in your body. So think about this: that it's not your legs dancing, and it's actually your body guiding the legs through the steps. So first, let's do this small exercise. Just release your hip. Very good. And now let's stretch our rib cage diagonally forward. Boom, eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now from here, change to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now change four counts. One, two, three, four. Another four. One, two, three, four. Rib cage. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So very good. So number one, you need to activate your rib cage. And as you're working on your rib cage, you will notice naturally that the hip is going the opposite way. Then you get this famous diagonal. So anytime you take a step, you will have a very, very high stretched rib cage. So for example, if I would like to come to step to the side, that will be much better position than just like this or just with the hip. So let's say demonstrate first. If I would like to step to the side, I'm already engaging my rib cage. And as I step, I stretch, 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 let this rib cage create a beautiful shape. So now position is very, very high, which is very good. So every time you step on the number, you're going to have a very high position. Now, after that, you need to uh, second quality, which is squeezing. So here, this muscle, let's like imagine you are grabbing something and pulling it down. So that's kind of movement. Then this muscle, short muscle, very small movement in your shoulder blade, compressing. One, the eight counts of this movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change other side. One, two, three, squeezing. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now four. One, two, squeezing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Four, you can actually put your arm here and feel feel how this muscle is really working. Let's go from the back. Boom, squeezing. Now, try not to put your elbow down, okay? So it's only muscular walk, uh, work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now remember that number one exercise, what we did, we are working our uh, rib cage, and then number two, it was squeezing. So now we combine them together. So for example, every time I say number two, we're gonna have a very high rib cage position, very tall position. When I say and, we start to squeeze this muscle, and. Three, rib cage, and. Four, one, very strong rib cage, and. And now we combine a little bit faster. Two, and. 30 and 4 1. So if I say number and I didn't continue, we have to stay in this position and, uh, and stretch, 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 stretch as much as we can. And then count and we squeeze. And of course, this is very like simple explanation, but it will get idea how you can actually be flexible, not just you know move uh, body parts spontaneously in different directions, but actually you know have a little bit more organized plan so we always in step when we say number with the high rib cage and at the end of the step we're pressing and two and three and four one so always on the number high rib cage and so if we would like to apply it into the walks it's going to look exactly the same so like before we step we're doing and now we step back Two and because two is the, no, is the number, we want to have our rib cage as high as possible, as high as possible, and then and at the end of the walk, then replace three very high rib cage and and go side four one and two and three and 
before one end and how fast how slow to the end is the whole study on itself you have to really go to it but you can uh, do any movement with just using the simple technique not going too much into detail let's go forward and back we always start from high and then we go down and two so now you notice every time you arrive in the step is very high and and at the end of the walk we're doing squeezing so we go much lower and and is the end of the step and beginning of the next and three 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 and four and one and two and three and four and one and i strongly recommend uh thinking about the ribcage stretching and on the end don't think only hip circles think squeezing compressing and your hip will naturally react so then you can take any movement and it will get better and better let's say kukaracha side to side you go two and three and four one high because we talk about it and two and three and four one and two and three and four one and and this especially applied to cha 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 and ramba but specifically to the ramba but let's say in cha cha if we want to do our uh, hip twist shasa for example and two and three and cha cha one number is very high ribcage stretching and run the shasa two and three and cha and you see on the cha I squeeze cha and I here I will squeeze very fast one land on the very high rib cage and two and three and cha cha one and so you have to always think about uh, Latin dance as a combination of this rib cage stretching this having high position and end that low it's the same as you breathing you have inhale and exhale of course when you dance don't don't try to over control how you breathe it doesn't really you know change anything but it's just an analogy for you to understand that uh, if you want your dance to to breathe in a dancing way not in a normal way you would have to always have this high position and then low in each step so within a one walk you have the moments where you high stretching the moments where you low and and then if you think about the rib cage and compressing and combine them in a correct way, your dance will improve.